Oi, you, you bloody, oi, you bloody cunt. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Indiegogo Excrement. I just got back from my Australian vacation, and man, was it a hoot. A lot of great videos on uh, many good YouTube channels coming out very soon. Links in the description. I'm back to do what you guys love, uh, talk about Kickstarter projects and Indiegogo excrements. Uh, a lot of you guys have been uh, messaging me about this very weird vaginal beer project. First vaginal beer, Bottled Instinct. If you're at all interested in this food product, all you gotta do is visit the subcategory with the pitchfork, labeled food, and you'll be greeted with this project and many others, such as asshole pizza, semen burritos, schmegma salad. Imagine the essence of a woman in one bottle of beer. Beer with a flavor of champagne. Hashtag beer. Hashtag vagina. Hashtag erotic. Erotic, you say? My only response to that is me likey. Can you imagine drinking a vagina? Now that's erotic. Before I show you guys this video, I want you to know that this is not intended for the straight women out there and the gay men. This is very much a straight male slash lesbian thing, okay? So I want all the lesbians and the straight guys, I want you to get together because you got one thing in common. You both love the pussy juice. Not only would you like to be inside of a woman, you'd like a woman to be inside of you but by drinking her pussy juice. Imagine a woman of your dreams, your object of desire, her charm, her sensuality, her passion. Try her taste, feel her smell, hear her voice. Try her taste, feel her smell. Your uh, Eastern European wordsmithing is showing. You know, regardless of you having some uh, very posh British guy narrating this shit for you, I can see through your writing that you're fucking retarded. Now free your fantasies and imagine that with a magic wand you can close it in one bottle of beer. The golden drink brewed with her lure and grace and flavored with instincts, which source we have identified. Golden drink brewed with her lure and grace and flavored with instincts, which source we have identified. That's the end of the sentence. That is the sentence that they came up with. This is fucking retarded. We have discovered a process of transmission of her essence, of her femininity. Her instincts by isolation of lactic acid bacteria from her vagina. The feminine part of the woman, the essence of the feminine part of the woman, is the bacteria that grows in their vagina. Have you ever inhaled a fishy undertone as a pack of Asian schoolgirls walk past? Well, if you like that scent, you're gonna love this beer. Our laboratory isolates and multiplies the bacteria in a safe way. Additionally, we examine the final bacteria in terms of its purity and safety. Have you ever sniffed a friend's vagina after a three-hour color run? Have you ever sniffed someone's vagina after they've ran a marathon and thought to yourself, I sure could use a tall glass of whatever the hell that is. We use the bacteria in the production of sour ales, lambics, Flanders ales, and sour stouts. Uh, emphasis on the word sour there. Because they can't make any beers that aren't sour if they're using pussy juice. The pH levels are too out of control. Beer, if it wasn't foul enough already, we're adding a little bit of that... A little bit of that pussy juice just to go in the fucking mix. Oh, by the way, some dude just ejaculated into it. Bon appetit. By using Yoni bacteria in the process... By the way, Yoni. They're gonna keep saying Yoni. You know, a minute ago they said vagina bacteria. Bacteria from her vagina. Because, you know, I guess they gotta be honest in some degree. Because it would be a little too, a little too abrasive to go the whole video saying bacteria from her vagina. People would get a little bit repulsed. So let's, let's make it a little bit sexier. Let's call it Yoni. The beers contain femininity and women's instincts. We have selected beautiful Czech model Alexandra Brentlova to be our source of the Yoni. Oh, the source of the Yoni. Man, you guys, you guys have managed to make this very PG. It actually sounds like you're talking about some sort of 3D action platformer. We gotta find the source of the Yoni. Banjo and Kazooie need to find the source of the Yoni. Where are we gonna find the source of the Yoni at? Maybe under a thwomp? Maybe behind the shiggery doomp? That is a kind of female whose pheromones will stay with you after the meeting 
for the following week long. It's total insanity and excitement reminding you of the best time of your youth. Total insanity. It's like the, the guy needs to say it because it's like, yeah, it actually is fucking insane. Like what we're doing is actually fucking retarded and insane. But like insane in a good way, right? It's insane in a good way, right guys? We have prepared many perks, including vouchers for the beers and gadgets. Gadgets? Oh. Please tell me more about these gadgets. For the most generous, we can prepare a home-brewed beer based on their girlfriend's Yoni bacteria. Oh boy! You think you can make me a beer using my mom's bacteria? What about a celebrity bacteria? We could do a whole line of celebrity vagina bacteria beers. Arousing Ronda Rousey. Christina Hen Drinks. Hillary Clit Yum. Our financial goal is 150,000 euros. Ah, uh, that's a fair price. I mean, you, can you really put a price on Alexandra Brenlava? She probably isn't a Czech prostitute that you just paid five bucks to get for her to allow you to put a Q-tip in her cooch. I already see the potential in this project. As soon as I thought of celebrity, oh my gosh, the light bulbs went off, right? What I've done is I've sent an email to the Yanni team expressing my interest in their product and how they could uh, maybe target more than just one market. Or they have two markets, lesbians and straight guys, but they could also target the straight females out there. And I have a great proposal that should really wet their lips. Lingam. E-celebrity lingam bacteria for sale. Hi, Yoni team. I see you're in need of some celebrities. I am that. I can provide you with high-quality lingam bacteria. I am confident we can sell my bacteria for at least $26.95 a bottle. Thanks you, Edopes TV. Here we are on the Frequently Asked Questions part of their website, and one question reads, How about the model? We selected a beautiful, very intelligent woman for our first beer. This got me thinking. Intelligence. Beauty. What do they have to do with vaginal bacteria? I mean, really, like, is it better bacteria because she's smart? I don't know, I'm, I'm not so sure. Who's to say a fucking moron doesn't have great vaginal bacteria? I bet if you swabbed a Downsy girl's vagina, you'd probably get some of the best tasting bacteria that you can find on the market. You have all these wine tasters out there now, in the year 2055, who are swishing around a bunch of vaginal fluids in their mouth saying, mmm, that tasted like a 34-year-old Czech brown-haired, ooh, a little bit of freckles, mmm, votes for Trump, mm -hmm. Besides beers, we have many of gadgets, like glass, beer opener, posters, polo shirts. I really like the posters gadget. Don't get me started on the polo shirt gadget. Glass. I like that, that as a gadget, and even not a gadget, I like glass. If you aren't sold on this awesome project yet, don't worry. We got so many things to tempt you. Future ales include BDSM ale. It's a sour ale, who would have fucking guessed? made with smoked plums and vaginal lactic acid bacteria of a redhead or brunette model. That's gonna taste fiery. It's probably gonna have some fiery undertones because of a fire crotch, all that good stuff. I would say that this project would largely be categorized as a just because it can be done doesn't mean it should be done sort of project, which I could kind of agree with. You can make a gamer grub beer by fucking swabbing someone's keyboard and using that bacteria from your fucking nasty fingers, and you turn that into beer. They're currently 1% funded, but of course, since this is Indiegogo, flexible funding is turned on as per usual, so they will get every penny of that 1,142 euros. That is going to do it for this episode of Indiegogo Excrement. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm gonna try to post a bit more. I've just been quite busy with uh, a bunch of gay shit. How erotic.